go with the wig. I'm sorry. I thought you would like the wig. I thought you would like the wig because I like the wig. I thought you would like the wig and the chains and the costumes because I like the wig and the chains and the costumes. I thought you would like them because they make me feel strong. And when I'm strong, I can devour you entirely. When I wear the wig, I can eat you whole. I thought we'd be the type of couple that go to parks and pretend to be strangers seducing each other for the first time. I thought we would get married and have kids and careers and hobbies and be too tired until we came home and put in our wigs. Then we could be strong again. Then we could be strong and in love forever. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were like him or I never would have asked. I never would have asked and I never would have giggled at that joke. I never would have giggled at that joke you made because it wasn't funny. It wasn't funny and I still don't understand it. Now you don't understand me. But here we are and I am naked. I am naked and you are just like him. I thought that when we were at fancy dinner parties with your colleagues or my colleagues or maybe even our parents, your hand would live underneath the tablecloth and up my skirt. I thought that when we were 70, you would take me to Paris and pinch my butt and we would laugh at everyone around us for not being as happy as we were. I thought you thought this too. I'm sorry. I should have known that it would be like this. I should have known that we would be like them. I knew she loved him from the moment I brought him home. We both loved him from the moment I brought him home and everything was going to be perfect. Everything could have been perfect, but it wasn't. He wouldn't let it be. He wouldn't let it be, so one night I took him out of their cage and into my garden and buried him under the trampoline. Mom said what I had done was cruel, but I knew it wasn't. She said that it didn't matter if she loved him or not, but I knew it did. I knew I couldn't keep him after he had broken her heart. Last night he looked at me with such disgust, I felt the sweat burst to life from the pores of my scalp and begin to wash away my wig. I felt your nauseated gaze hold mine until my vision went blurry, and you looked more like a black haze than a person, until you looked more like a nightmare than someone I'd been dating for two whole weeks. I'm sorry, I thought you would like the wig because I like the wig. Thank you.